The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Captain Dennis here with Squalls Marine Divers, here at Orbit Marine in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Today they're going to let us get in a swimming pool with their open water class. A lot of people say, open water diving, I can't do it. Well, I'm here to tell you you can, because it's not rocket science. So here you can see we're in a crystal clear swimming pool, and all that crap hanging off me is not required to get certified. Now as you can see, the pool is crystal clear. There's no waves. It's very easy. There's a shallow end that's three feet and a deep end that's 13 feet. There's a few hours of classroom work and a workbook that you have to fill out prior to the classroom. They explain how to get into your gear and then you get in the water and you swim up the pool and then down the pool. And you do this a couple times. Then after swimming up and then back, you get to wait for the other students to do it so you have more than enough time to catch your breath. And just so you know, this video is by no means an equivalency to going to a legitimate scuba shop and getting trained by a legitimate instructor, because I'm just some guy with a camera. Here you can see the dive master instructing the students on how to use their buoyancy compensation device, which is an air bladder that you wear on your back that allows you to sink. And as you can see, everybody sinks down to their belly. Most of them do, and that's why you have an instructor there. Here we can see the instructor in three feet of water demonstrating some of the skills you need to demonstrate to him. Takes his regulator out, puts it back in his mouth, clears it, then he does his other thing where he throws his regulator to the side. Hold on a second, he'll do it. Watch, he goes like this. He's like, bloop, oh look at that, I lost my regulator now. I found it. It's not too hard. This is some pretty easy stuff, folks. And then he asks you to show him. And then everybody else does it. And he goes, oh look, I found it too. After showing that you can do the skills from three feet of water, they move down to the deep end of the pool about 13 feet and uh, goes through the same steps again so as you can see it's a very controlled environment and a lot of this stuff isn't too crazy some people have some problems equalizing with their ears but that comes with time you can see here it's a whopping 11 feet down so I think we got enough time And the dive master will re-demonstrate the things he had done in the shallower water, like clearing your regulator, putting it back in your mouth and saying, oh look, I can breathe again, and then you guys do it. Then he shows you the next step, which is clear your mask, where he just explains it. I'm not really an instructor, so you'll see it, but it's not crazy. And then he does the good old Oops, look at that. Re regulated retrieval again. Pretty easy stuff. And then he has you do it. And then one of the other skills is taking off your BC, which you can see here. It's probably the trickiest thing you have to do. And your dive buddy gets to help you with it, because if you're 
diving, you're going to have a buddy with you and they're going to keep an eye on you. And after you've taken your BC off, you get to put it back on. And when you're all buckled up tight, we go on to the next step. Next, you demonstrate buoyancy control with a fin pivot, where you use the air in your lungs to pivot up and down on the tips of your fins, which you will see here. There are all kinds of techniques for buoyancy control. And the more you practice and believe in yourself, the more you'll be able to reach underwater awareness. While diving with your buddy, your buddy could run into problems, and they may not be able to swim on their own. So it's up to you to tow them back. And you can see some of the skills for towing demonstrated here. There are a lot of unscrupulous dive operations out there that will let you dive without being certified. It doesn't mean it's safe. So the best thing to do is go to the proper facility to receive the proper training, as I said earlier in the video. We all hear that one guy who's on the trip going, it'll be fine, stop being a wimp. You don't listen to him, ever. I'd like to take a second to thank our friend Noel Varoba at Orbit Marine for allowing us to dive with his class today. Noel is based in the Black Rock area of Bridgeport, Connecticut and provides dive services to everyone in the neck of the woods. Noel also sells fishing gear, but we're not talking about that because this is a dive show. Noel has the ability to fill tanks and take you out on one of his three charter boats based out of Captain's Cove in Bridgeport, Connecticut as well. And as you can see, Noel's got enough gear for everybody. What do you think, Bacardi? Orbit ah! Marine!